Welcome back. We're talking babies today and baby your baby with Nurse Danny from Intermountain Healthcare. What a great day to have you in because I think everyone has baby fever right now with the I royal so baby too. around. Yeah. Do nurses that deal with babies get excited? Or are you like, oh, one more baby? <laughs> well, everyone's baby is important to us, you know, so. I like that answer. Royal or not. And we're talking about the second trimester today. And we talked about first trimester last time. And I think that's a lot of big changes you're getting used to. And mm -hmm. second trimester, I feel like it's more smooth sailing. Is that I usual? Think so too. Yeah, because you start to feel better. Not so sick, usually between 16 and 17 weeks. You start to feel the baby move, usually between 17 and 20 weeks. So that's an exciting milestone. And then at 20 weeks, everyone looks forward to finding out what they're having, boy or girl. But that's also a really important part of prenatal care because the doctor schedules that ultrasound to make sure all of the baby's vital organs are growing properly and that things are going well. So that's an important appointment to keep. That is very important. And also fetal movements, it's something important to start paying attention to because mm -hmm. there's things you want to watch for. What should you be looking for? Well, um, you know, like I said, you start to feel the baby between 17 and 20 weeks, but it's really irregular. So you may just feel little flutters here and there, mm -hmm. especially if you've never had a baby before. It's new to you. And you can get worried if you don't feel it regularly, but you're not going to really until the baby gets bigger, maybe between 26 and 28 weeks. And then it starts to become more regular to where you should feel like at least six movements an hour. That's good to know. And if you're not feeling them, maybe sit down and then wait to see Pay attention to it, okay. yep. And if you're not getting any response from your baby by just thinking about it, then call your doctor or go to the hospital. Perfect. And one thing you're probably not thinking about when you're pregnant is your own oral care, brushing your teeth and taking uh -huh. care of those things. But those are important, right? Yes, it's so hard, especially after coming off the morning sickness. You've probably been throwing up and it, you don't like to, the thought of brushing your teeth or flossing. But gum disease can actually contribute to preterm labor. So a lot of women think when they're pregnant, I'm not going to the dentist, I shouldn't go to the dentist. But that's a myth because studies show that between 22 and 26 weeks, you should get your teeth cleaned because that will help decrease the chances of you having preterm labor. Labor complications. And when you feel like nothing else is looking that pretty, you may as well have nice pearly Shiny whites, teeth. right? That yeah. always helps along the way. And speaking of that preterm labor, what are the signs and symptoms you need to start looking for? Because I think we all get those Braxton Hicks and you're mm -hmm. worried about whether that's the real thing or not. Yeah, if you start to feel regular pains, like you're noticing, oh, my stomach's tightening, I feel pressure, I'm having some cramping or a lower backache, start paying attention to how intense it is or how often it's happening. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like you're having four to five contractions an hour, which is only every 10 to 15 minutes or a constant lower abdominal cramp or backache you can't get rid of, you need to call your doctor, along with bleeding, spotting, leaking of fluid, those sorts of things. All good tips. And Nurse Danny, you're always a wealth of knowledge. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me.